people. We've all got teddy bears. You know, they're really endearing little animals. And actually, when you see them in the wild for real, um, you can't help but fall in love with them, especially those cubs. I think they're a great subject for a movie. I think on the whole, bears, they're pretty gentle animals that just go about their business. They don't want any trouble. Um, I think they, they sort of steer clear of trouble wherever possible. Okay, you see the big males barging around in the meadow and things, but, um, you know, asserting their authority. But I think generally they're, they're not out for trouble at all. And as you see, quite often you'll see them playing, so they're, they're social animals. Funny, I think one of my favourite moments was just a couple of weeks ago. Um, we were out filming in the evening, there was a mother with two cubs, and she was trying to fish in the river. And while she was trying to fish, suddenly the cubs looked a bit nervous. And they looked up over their shoulder, you know, they were looking up over their shoulder and standing up and wondered what was going on. And suddenly, over the ridge, this wolf appeared. And, I mean, I really feared for those cubs. I thought that wolf was just going to pile in there and nail one of them. Um, but the mum seemed pretty chilled about it, actually. She trotted back up and gave them some support. But it was the cubs that actually chased the wolf off, um, which I was really surprised at. And not once, they did it about four times. Um, but that, yeah, that for me, I suppose, is one of the most memorable moments. The key element of a film like Bears is the character. It's our female and her cubs. Um, and that's what drives the story. But then to make it cinematic and to bring in, you know, to draw the audience, give them a sense of place, of being in a, a you know, amazing place like um, Alaska. Um, you know, it's quite nice to bring in some of the Hollywood style toys, you know, cranes and track and so on, to be able to take the audience on that journey with that mum and cubs. Um, but that's not without hardship, you know, a lot of this stuff's quite heavy. Um, so we've done a lot of wheezing and panting up and down hills and across beaches. But um, I think in the end it's worth it. And I think the you know, hopefully the audience will get that sense that they've actually visited this place or they'll actually want to afterwards. Alaska's got the whole package for me, really. You know, it's the wild outdoors. There's a sense of being rugged. There's a sort of, um, you get the idea that you're sort of slightly pioneering. You know, some of these places people may never have walked when you go off the beaten path. Um, it's got great charismatic animals. So you've got bear, moose, lynx. Somebody saw a lynx today, not that I've seen one. Uh, you've got sea otters and beavers and bald eagles flying around. Oh, it's incredible, you've got so much wildlife you know, all around you the whole time.